When Catherine Bell moved to Denton, a lot of things looked very different. I remember when I came to Denton, they were on paved street. They wouldn't even pay, they wouldn't even do anything in our part of town. We did not have a park to go to. We had a big open field. And we enjoyed that. But still, there was more in my mind that I wanted. And after we had our son, I knew that I did not want him to grow up being limited. That desire to give her son more became a driving force in her life, which ended up giving the entire Denton community more. Mrs. Bell became an activist for desegregation, but not the kind of activist you may think. We got together with uh, other women, Christian women. I went to the meeting, I enjoyed. I met Ann Burnett, I met uh, Dorothy Atkins and lots more. And uh, we all had the same idea. The idea was to encourage desegregation by using playdates and social functions instead of marches and rallies. The idea worked, and now the school bearing her name is the perfect testament to her life's work. <laughs> Bell Elementary is a melting pot. Kids of different races and from different backgrounds learn and play together. It's something we may take for granted, but to Mrs. Bell, it's a beautiful sight, and to have her name on the building associated with that is overwhelming. I think about the past, my son, my husband, if they could be here to enjoy it with me, to, you know, and, uh, but I know they are looking down. It's so exciting, and I never dreamed or anything like this. But you know, you can dream. There is always a dream. And you can be secret about your dream in your heart. And then, uh, if you patient and wait, and do what you're supposed to do, and treat everybody alike, your dream will come true.